guys welcome back to my channel today is a new day it's a new day if you are a new subscriber and if you are a returning subscriber god bless you um this is just a quick video just a quick video just to um give you guys like where i'm at mentally in terms of like my hair journey and what i'm doing for the future in terms of hair I have been posting a lot of stuff about here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's see. Oopsie. So, guys, I just want to talk about where I got the passion about hair care. I remember in my old job, I was having a conversation with a man, and he wasn't a black man. But I won't mention his race, but he wasn't a black man. And I remember in the conversation, he made a statement, and the statement was black people or should I say black women cannot grow their hair and he said it so confidently like it was a fact and I remember after the conversation feeling so small feeling so judged and it made me wonder what other facts and what other beliefs do other people of other races have about the black community and I had this thing like no in my mind the whole time he was talking I was like no no anyways i was like no and a part of me was like say something tell him that is not true and a part of me didn't have the information to respond so i was like no ways this is not a fact it's false so i started watching videos and even i used myself and i was like i have relaxed my hair for a very long time and i used to put heat on it i used to also put like chemicals on it like texturizers i would put like bleach dye my hair red all kinds of colors and i always have new growth and i was like but that's hair growing so i was so inspired to just be like you know what let me do this and what happens was that was like i'll say 10 years ago yeah, so then i and during that time i learned a lot of information and that's when i did a big chop i actually transitioned for a while and then i cut my hair off and my hair was like this short Hopefully, I'll find the pictures and I'll just insert it. And my whole family at that point also used relaxers. My mom went natural. My sisters went natural. And I looked at the influence I had on my whole family. And till this day, everyone in my family has natural hair. And then I realized, like, wow, I can inspire people by being a positive influence. And I thought, why don't I just film this and help a lot of people out there no more and embrace their hair texture not every hair texture is the same in my family we all have different hair textures and i don't and also i wanted to promote loving your hair currently i have two nieces i also have nephews but my nieces are also on a natural hair journey they also have natural hair and i want to inspire them and show them that having your hair in a natural state is beautiful you don't have to put a weave you don't have to have a straight for it to be beautiful Having it straight is one of the bonuses of having natural hair. The fact that your hair can switch and be straight and can be curly is the beauty of the versatility of natural hair. And I didn't want them to be limited also to say, okay, when I have natural hair, it means I'm a natural queen. If I have weave, I'm a slay queen. If I have this, I'm this. Don't put yourself in a box. I wanted to show that there's freedom in having your hair type the way it is but it's also freedom as being a woman you don't have to conform if i wanted to chop my hair off tomorrow i can i'm not defined by my hair i also wanted to say that being a natural is not like you stuck in one hairstyle for me i enjoy wigs i enjoy braids i enjoy heat putting heat on my hair right now i have straightened my hair it's reverting because of heat. I live in a place that's full of humidity. So it's bound to happen. But that is okay. It's okay that my hair is changing today. And it's different tomorrow. It's curly one day. It's straight another. It's okay. If I want to cut my hair, it's okay. If I'm in a season where I want to rock my hair curly, that's okay. It's okay that as a woman, you can do all kinds of things. But what I wanted to instill is knowledge. So when you do come back to growing your hair and taking care of the health of your hair, you have some wisdom, you have knowledge, you have something to hold on to. Because So basically I'm just saying that 
as a YouTuber who promotes natural hair love and promoting knowledge, you're not limited to your hair. Um, if you have long natural hair and you want to cut it and you feel like people are going to be like, oh my gosh, why are you cutting your hair? Your hair will grow. You're not defined by your hair. And at the same time, be free to do what you want with your hair. Because even as a natural person, I had moments where I want to do these type of hairstyles. I'll just put them up, these type of hairstyles. And I've always had this thing that people are going to be like, oh my gosh, your hair, your hair. I'm still going back to that mindset of being put in a box. Now that I'm growing my hair, people expect my hair to stay long. You can still have wisdom and teach people why you rock your different hairstyles. So you need that wisdom in able to like live life in any season that you are. If you want your hair to be straight, you want your hair to be curly. And yeah, basically, I just wanted to prove a point, even to the other races, that hair grows. With whichever race you are, hair grows. And you need to get out of that inferior thinking, thinking that because you are this race, you're less than. It equals that you don't have this. If you're black, it means you don't have this hair type. If you're black, it means your hair doesn't grow. And it's not true. Hair grows. And for me, I've been... I've cut my hair so many times, but my hair still grew. Like, if hair doesn't grow, I should be bold. Like, I've cut my hair so many times, and every time I cut it, it grows. I cut it, it grows. So hair grows, people! It's a fact. Black hair grows. All races have the ability to grow hair. I know that man doesn't know, but I needed him to be negative for me to prove him wrong. I think I needed that push to go and do research and be like, dude hair grows and in a way like i'm glad that i went and researched because i also had internalized a certain fact that hair doesn't grow and i wanted to inspire people to grow their hair because it does contribute to self-esteem so i'm gonna be like why are you so obsessed with natural hair growth because self-esteem is attached to it there's no other body that you're gonna get there's no other hair that you're gonna get this is what you have so you might as well nurture what you have and love and embrace what you have. So who knows? I may cut my hair tomorrow and rock a bob hairstyle. Like a lovely bob. I love bobs. They look so pretty on women. It's cute. It's feminine. It's easy to maintain. And I can grow my hair probably next year. I just want to encourage people to embrace what God has given them. And in every season that you are, enjoy live life be beautiful in every season in your twa stage in your ear length shoulder length bar strap length waist length kinky curly coily length straight hair length embrace the stage that you're in and you're beautiful in every way but you have knowledge so guys thank you for watching this video and just you can comment down below what has knowing about your hair helped you with like did you discover that your hair is a different texture like i discovered that i have four different hair textures so like my hair in the front is one texture the sides the back of my hair is different textures i learned that in winter my hair grows faster compared to summer and hot seasons i've noticed that my hair reverts quickly when it's in the moist place there's a lot of things i've learned about my hair and i love learning about my hair and that it's beautiful it's so beautiful and I just want to inspire people to embrace inspire people to love their own hair and the younger generations after me make sure guys to like comment and subscribe to my channel and I'm so grateful for you guys welcome to the family this is our family we are a family of believers we are a family of goal getters we are a family of goal achievers we are people who think out of the box. We are person who think and we are pursue faith. We pursue faith. We pursue joy. We pursue Jesus. We pursue good things. We, we don't put limits and we are go-getters. And we are people who don't have closed minds. We have open minds and we learn and we learn and we learn and we learn. And with God, knowledge is a fear of God. Like the beginning of fear, the knowledge of God is beginning here. I'll put the scripture, I'm confusing myself, but you know what I mean. And so guys, until next time, and remember we live by faith and love by sight. See you next time.